Thousands are expected to flood Headwaters Park starting Friday for an annual festival that showcases love, acceptance, and of course, pride. Today we are joined by Fort Wayne Pride Festival Director Nikki Foltz. Nikki, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. So, how many years has Fort Wayne been celebrating pride? Um, this is actually our 22nd festival, uh, so it started in 1998, was our first festival. And why is it important to the Fort Wayne community? Um, I think that, you know, visibility and education are an important factor to try to showcase, you know, um, different kinds of um, people and make sure that um, everyone feels accepted in our community. And this year is special for not only our Pride Festival, but Pride Festivals all around the world. Yeah. How are you guys celebrating the Stonewall anniversary? So actually this year marks the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, so we did that for our theme. Um, as you can see, uh, Stonewall 50, <laughs> it's actually looking back, loving forward 50 years after Stonewall is what we're um, using as our theme this year. And we added in some history um, to the festival events. So we did some trivia, we're doing a history walk and trying to bring back some of those things that especially the younger people might forget happened. And what can people expect if they come out that maybe haven't attended before? Well we have um, a variety of things that maybe you know you see at every festival so there's the live entertainment and there's vendors and workshops and things but we also have a drag show that's very popular um, that happens on Saturday night in our March uh, that happens Saturday right before the start of the festival that a lot of people like to attend. Um, so I think I would just encourage people to come with an open mind and, and uh, hope to have fun. You and what educational opportunities will be at uh, Pride other than Stonewall? Um, so we have our workshops that um, have a variety of topics and they're free to people so every hour is a new one, um, mostly LGBTQ specific type of, of topics and then also our vendor market, we have 140 vendors, um, several of those are um, nonprofits and churches and things like that that have uh, information for people coming. So I've asked this question to basically every fest that we've had <laughs> in, but I really like it. How has it changed throughout the years? Well, we um, are expecting over 15,000 people this year. Our very first festival had about 100. Wow. So, um, you know, just That's because a <laughs> it's a huge change. And I think with uh, increased diverse, or increased acceptance of our community, um, we've seen that there's more uh, a variety of people that attend, more straight allies. and. Um, we've just been able to increase the type of offerings that we have with, with more resources. What's your favorite part of the Pride Festival? Um, I love just people's reactions. I, I'm lucky to have done this for 19 years myself, so I um, get to experience a lot of people coming up and just saying, you know, this is my favorite time of year, this is the time I can be myself. So to be able to have a part of that is, is priceless. And what do people need to know if they're planning to attend? Parking, ticket, is it free event? It's five dollars a day. Um, we have 7 p.m. to midnight on Friday and noon to midnight on Saturday. Okay. Um, and parking just at the downtown locations like we always, like we always have to try to find, but <laughs> we can <Yes>. do it. <laughs> All right, Nikki, thank you so much for stopping by. Fort Wayne Pride kicks off Friday and runs through Saturday. For a list of activities and hours, visit fwpride.org.